him on a whole nother level. Girl, he only fought you over cause you let him. Girl, I guess he didn't know any better. Girl, that man didn't show any ever. Do all I can just to show you it's special. Certain it's your love that holds me together. You say he been killing the Hello and welcome back to our Let's Play of Thimbleweed Park. When we left off, we were playing around with this clown. I don't exactly remember what was on the to-do list. Oh yeah, okay, so we need to get our joke book back. But I'm pretty sure we already have all the money no for way. it, so that'd be Take fine. He is too far away. You got my money, ransom the ass white clown. Uh, uh, I have your money a thousand bucks plus interest a thousand bucks plus interest oh so you decided to pay up yeah well not much choice now where's my joke book yeah give me my book dude yeah the jokes all suck so how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these yeah what do you know about being funny uh, about as much as you do which is nothing now scram clowny you're scaring the customers Oh yeah, you've got so many customers, dude. Shoot the it's my joke book. No spoilers okay. here. Right, so we need to uh, get the clown throw looking great, and we need to go on stage. Come on over. Don't exactly know where to get my clown throw looking awesome. Can I use this? Nothing's inside. I've checked. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Okay, Must be fine. a huge crowd in the big top. Right, do I want to go backstage entrance to probably get the hair done, maybe? I walked to hair gel. Right. This goop keeps my clown fro erect. Can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. Ooh, my clown fro looks great. Ah. So that is everything, and now we go on stage and insult some people. Why not? Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. They I love hope it. no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. Hmm. You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The low IQ, the weird speech patterns, the same ugly face. If that ain't just one weirdo, somebody definitely... Dude, he is going in. Okay, cool. Uh, let's you talk, guys talk about this chuck, guys, so if you can find anything out. Seriously, I haven't seen brainwashing like this since the Manson family. Blink twice. You want me to get help? Okay, we're gonna go for hey, it. Hey, you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair and you got a face that looks like oh that. my god he's God's savage he's crying you for something he's crying feels bad man hey you lady with a huge nose i say lady but your beak suggests you're a <laughs> you shouldn't have <laughs> bought actually tickets for savage. the show tonight toots you should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty oh now she's crying too i'm gonna piss everyone off Hey you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Okay, we're just gonna go in and insult hey everyone. Hey you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Oh, she can, Whatever it is, uh, this I hope is probably you bought good, a separate it? ticket. Because if it's big she enough to like ride she's gonna the curse roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went off I for another it. two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home! Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, 
and go see my mistress Cindy in Aspen. Yes. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go and see Cindy. Scrub, scrub, scrub. What the? F this makeup isn't coming off. You old lady. You up the Come on. <laughs> Dude, he's got no what chill. He tried his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark. You had arts. to go and piss off a mistress of the dark arts, didn't you? Threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old My lady. Oh, it's my lawyer. Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? Oh. And go beep yourself. My whole life is falling apart, that's unfortunate. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Okay, so now we've got to talk to Ransom the Crown. The Crown? Clown. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, did I get the murder weapon? I did, yeah. Can I go straight away and uh, fingerprint this shit? Or no? We'll try. Go down to the coroner. Uh, use ice pick. It won't fit in the slot. Totally a sex tape. Uh, I, I can talk to it, right, to find out what I need to do. So I need a fingerprint tape. Uh, where do I find that? Okay. Alright. Okay, that's enough of that, okay. Uh, can I look at the Lots bookshelf? Lots of medical books there. Okay, it's fine. Possibly upstairs, maybe. Let's open the drawer. It's empty. It's a medical skeleton. Ugh, okay, chewy okay. caramel center. Ugh. Alright, let's go have a look upstairs, see if we can't find this fingerprint tape around here somewhere. Stay yeah. out of trouble. Okay, buddy. It's turned just a bunch. There's a fingerprint book here. Okay, so we've got fingerprint book. Just a bunch of files. This this has fingerprints for everyone in okay, the so park. Okay, so that's the book that I Certified do. Fingertron 3000 compatible. Nothing in jail. Just, just, just a bunch of just files. Just a whole bunch of files. Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Wanted. Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. Okay, all right. Is there a fingerprint to you? <laughs> the inscription says, Pillowtronics, the brain of our city. It doesn't work in that. Okay, wait. Oh, yeah, well, there were two other doors in there. It's empty. There's a fingerprint key Hey, here. perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Cool. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Of course it is. Lots of medical books there. How do I get fingerprint tape then? Uh... 
Shui Ker awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. What a, a name that inspires confidence if I've ever heard one. Let's go, uh, glove swish, 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 pee. Yum. Delicious. Just gotta, you know, stay hydrated while we're on the case. Did I miss anything? Because I don't know where this fingerprint tape is. I don't think there's anything off that direction. Standard city issued desk, but it doesn't have any buttons. Hmm. Must be for incoming calls only. Why do I not have any fingerprint tape? That's very annoying. The prints are really clear. So I need tape now. Been wandering a while, around for a while now, and I'm just trying to figure out. If I've missed the tape somewhere, or if I just am an idiot, which is more likely. Uh, Filled to the brim with smelly trash. The pet right. store is for rent. Guess no one around here. Whoa, what is all this shit? She is too far. Hey there, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks. Yeah, of I'm not exactly sure about this place. Sorry about that, hun. This used to be Ricky's cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. What an exciting life you lead. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hun? Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot I needed a tube. tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over three thousand oh, different makes it called? and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? Uh. Shit. I can't remember what it was. I feel like it was WC. Do I go back and check? I'm all tubed out. Thanks. Okay, hun. Just holler if you need me. All right, we're gonna go and check real quick. We'll get the fingerprints later because I actually know what I'm doing with this bit. Where was I? It was over this way, wasn't it? It's easy to get lost in this game for me. I don't know why. That's fine. We'll just talk to the pigeons again. Get them to tell us what fucking uh, tube they need, and then we'll be good. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Uh, what caused, yeah, what the, caused leak? the leak? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. WC, I was right, a I think. Did I say WC? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. WC-67, WC-67. Okay, let's go, 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 before I forget. It's down on B Street in the Ricky's Cakes place. Hey there, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Well WC67. I'm looking for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Uh, yes. The Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you Thank know you it. Thank you ever so much. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. I will certainly do that. Don't you worry. Thank you very much for the tube. Let's get this pipe fixed. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. I got you your WC67 tube. Thank you. 
Excellent. All fixed. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. That's fine. I want to go down here anyway. The liquor store. Okay. What is this? Am I in po post place? Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. Good guess, Scoop. You spend as much time as I have dealing with law enforcement, you get a second sense of this stuff. Plus the cheap suits. Mm, mostly the cheap suits. Yeah, okay. Let's see. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of odd or Reno. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck. Who is Chuck? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. Hmm. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Mm, fascinating. fascinating. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. I mean, none of those are right, but let's go with artifact insemination. Artifact insemination? Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. I actually did know town. that. People tell me it was like living Spite in the, the future. game, I think. That's one of his machines over there. The Copytron 3000. Then... Pillows, Chuck, magnets. Got it. Kind of bored now. Alright, um... We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? Huh? Clark, Clark Kent. Kent. If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. I didn't think that was going to work. Yeah.